We're getting the latest now on Empire star Jesse Smollett. His family now speaking out about the late night incident that left Smollett with bruises and a cord around his neck as police ask for anyone for information about it to come forward. ABC's Alex Perez is in Chicago with a story. Good morning, Alex. Good morning, George. There are about a dozen detectives working this case. This neighborhood has countless cameras, but authorities say they have not been able to track down any video of the attack. Overnight, the family of Justy Smollett breaking their silence, supporting the actor, and directly addressing those doubting his story. We want to be clear, this was a racial and homophobic hate crime, the family telling ABC News. Justy has told the police everything from the very beginning. His story has never changed. The president weighing in from the Oval Office. That, I can tell you, is horrible. I've seen it. Uh, last night. I think that's horrible. Chicago police telling ABC News they have not received any tips since releasing this grainy surveillance image of two people they call possible witnesses. The pair seen walking along New Street between 1.30 and 1.45 a.m. in the general area where Smollett says he was assaulted. According to investigators, the actor told them that at about 2 a.m. he was heading home from this subway sandwich shop when he was attacked by two men wearing masks and shouting racial and homophobic slurs. Smollett's manager, Brandon Moore, telling ABC he was on the phone with the actor during the attack, claiming he heard the words MAGA country, adding, I heard the scuffle and I heard the racial slur. Investigators say Smollett walked home to his apartment here in downtown Chicago after the attack. 30 to 40 minutes later, the incident was reported to police. Authorities say unreleased surveillance video shows Smollett entering his apartment building with a rope around his neck and calls police at about 2.40 a.m., with officers arriving almost immediately to take his statement. A spokesperson for Smollett telling ABC it was his creative director who made that call and later accompanied him to the hospital. And authorities say they are expanding the area they are searching, the cameras they are reviewing, hoping for a break in the case. Guys? Okay, Alex, thanks very much. Still some a lot of questions yeah, there. Yeah, a lot of yeah. questions. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.